Welcome to today's encouragement from our daily bread. My name is Sochil Dixon. I'm sharing a personal story, a tough lesson, and a hope-filled realization in Forever Faithful God. When Xavier was an elementary student, I drove him to and from school. One day, things didn't go according to plan. I was late to pick him up. I parked the car, praying frantically as I ran toward his classroom. I found him hugging his backpack as he sat on a bench next to a teacher. I'm so sorry, mijo. Are you okay? He sighed. I'm fine, but I'm mad at you for being late. How could I blame him? I was mad at me too. I loved my son, but I knew there would be many times when I'd disappoint him. I also knew he might feel disappointed with God one day. So I worked hard to teach him that God never has and never will break a promise. Psalm 33 encourages us to celebrate God's faithfulness with joyful praises because the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. Using the world God created as tangible proof of his power and dependability, the psalmist calls on the people of the world to worship God. When plans fail or people let us down, we can be tempted to be disappointed in God. However, we can rely on God's trustworthiness because His plans stand firm forever. We can praise God even when things go wrong because our loving Creator sustains everything and everyone. God is forever faithful. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Psalm 33, verses 1 to 11. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise Him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to Him on the ten-string lyre. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, their starry hosts by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him, for he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations. Let's pray. Dear God, thanks for being trustworthy no matter what's going on in our lives. Please remind us of your past faithfulness and assure us of your constant presence as we walk by faith today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.